Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will understand how to use Google Collaboratory. As Collaboratory or Collab is a Google research product which allows developers to write and execute Python code through their browser. It is a hosted Jupyter notebook that requires no setup and has an excellent free version which gives free access to Google computing resources such as GPUs and TPUs. It's exciting, right? So let's get started. So we have understood the different types of data. We have seen the important processing data analysis and how do we begin our journey and how do we try to load the data and collect the data in a theoretical point of view. But now we'll be working it practically from the next series of videos. But before that, you need to understand what environment you are using, right? So because till now, if you are aware of Python programming, you'll be having different IDs where you go for PyCharm, Visual Studio, even you can use text editor like Sublime, whatever it is. Because even if you, you can continue with the same Python ideally, but first you need to install some relevant packages. When you go for working on Python packages for data analysis, we'll be having NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn, which are very, very basic to work on it. And they play a very vital role. You may have any number of packages being evolved in Python. You need not worry about it. But now I'll be making you to introduce a very well known environment, which is very, very widely used from the past couple of years, which is Google Collaboratory. Because if I type Google Collab in browser, just type Google Collab in browser, make sure you're logged in with your Gmail. I just made my Gmail logged in. You see, you get the first link over there, Google Collab, because it was the internal product which is developed by Google, which is basically a research product by Google where they started working on some Jupyter environment notebooks because generally when you start working on analysis or when you're trying to shift your journey into artificial intelligence or machine learning or working on intern in retail about data science, you'll be having some kind of environment like Jupyter environment or Anaconda. It's a distribution where you have Python programming, R programming in detail, but if you have, if you are having good laptop or desktop, then only you prefer going for Anaconda because it will take nearly 4 GB to extract all the packages because they need not install any package. The same thing happens with Google Collaboratory. It is a res Google research product which allows developers to write and execute Python code through the browser. That means only internet connection is needed. You need not run anything over your mobile phone or anything. The best thing is you can open Google Colab in your mobile phone also. That's where this came into existence into publicly from 2018 only mainly from the past three years. Because before that earlier people used to work Google team used to work when they are working because Google is not only whatever you see a web browser giving information. No, it has so many kind of products because when you open this toggle bar here, you have so many products by Google because YouTube is owned by Google. You can go for, you can see meeting, you can use G Suite for administration purposes, you can use translator, you can use books, blogger, update your photos, Jamboard, collections. You have so many things over Google. So all Google products in the same way Google is providing some kind of environment with a good storage and more processing which is basically Google Colab. So first hit this if you want to get an overview of it you can just click on any of the link because you can directly upload your Python files where you can open this in your mobile phone also we just make sure whatever the screen size you're having just first click on this automatically it will showing it will be going to examples recent google drive github or you can upload it directly when you click on recent it will show automatically the previous files i have in it so i will click on welcome to collaborator the first thing here you could see this is where the first page of your environment that the first i mean i mean i can say the first view you can see to your first right side you see your name google account and the share symbol you can share the notebook to any person it will ask you the url and you can make some settings like this, the themes, whether you can make it as light theme, dark theme, adaptive, you can play with it, the editor, the font size, indentation, whatever you have seen in IDLE or any other IDs you can get. But Colab Pro is not available as of now because it is only available in the following countries. Even they made it to India also where you need to go for pay model. But as of now, even you can use only free version because this is free to use. See. 
it is collaboratory or collab it allows you to write and execute python code in your browser no configuration free access to graphic processing unit because you can go to runtime and you can just see here you can just run you can just make sure you can get restart runtime or factory reset runtime it will just make sure whatever the variables are you can just go for change runtime what is the accelerator whether you want to change go to go for gpu to get most out of collab avoid using a gpu unless you need one because it will tell you what do you mean by gpu every system is providing with some graphics right even if you are using a desktop or laptop or if any whether it is dell or samsung or lenovo hp minimum graphic card is required right because if you want to watch movies or play video games graphic card is important that's where you have this nvidia graphic cards or uv see any kind of laptops high end gaming laptops they have high and high graphic processing so that our cpu will not take much pressure when you're working on some kind of application that is where you see a movie editors or you see environment people working mac laptops on it's not for stylish purpose the processing and the graphics they provide right make sure this is connected first because i have just reset the runtime you could see he'll tell you how to start and make sure how do you get it you can just go for this free resources but if you are having knowledge on python then only it will be helpful for you because basically the main advantage of google collab is you can directly make sure you can use it for free most of the menu items are basically when you click on file edit i'll show each one of them where it has changed the kernel type when you click on code you automatically get the code cell here that means you can write your python code over here suppose if you want to print anything when you write print automatically it will just make sure when you give print you see the suggestion over here it will give you suggestions it is google right it is just recommending you when you click on shift enter or just just click on this play symbol you get the output over there right so first let's go one by one option click on file you have new notebook open notebook upload you can save it to drive upload to github you can just download it so first i'll click on new notebook make sure your runtime is connected because google collab is providing you nearly 12 gb of ram and disk space is 107 gb it only depends of you on your gmail storage if your gmail storage is full automatically you cannot upload this files it will not execute you to run you can change the name of this file then automatically you can see a new notebook file open and make sure to execute any code over here it should first connect so the best thing is click on connect it it will automatically allocate some memory and it will provide you the ram and storage where it has invented some kind of playground mode and you can just play with it when you click on file you have all of this open in playground mode if i click on this let's see what happens let's wait for it this note notebook is in playground mode you can see some different background over there it's fine so i'll just go back you can just make some things when you start exploring you'll understand you could just rename it i'll just rename it to intro to collab because collab collaboratory working together because it is a hosted online environment where you can share it to your friends and they can execute it they can run it and you can download this file as python file or you can ipynb file ipynb stands for interactive python notebook right you can just click on this symbol automatically you could see when i give a is equal to i'll write my name anywhere the same thing happens when you're working on this is mainly effectively python environment if you want to work on r you need to make some changes over here because this is providing a very good interface and mainly to work on deep learning packages or frameworks like pytorch tensorflow keras it provides you gpu to take heavy amount of data load it because the only disadvantage is it will just go to sleep mode in the same way how your system goes on because you are using a online environment you should make sure you work on it otherwise google will just make sure you reconnect it every time that's way so when you directly execute a press shift enter you could see the result over here see you can see you can just remove it or you can just click this play symbol that's where you get the next cell you when you just hover it here you have code and text here if you click on code you get the code symbols over there when that means you should write code in this block of line if you click on text that means you can highlight it whether if you want to make it bold right 
So that means you can make some headings. Like if I want to give introduction, you could see the theme over here to your left side. When you click shift enter, you could see that. That means you can customize it. You can make it to italic style. You can make it to bold. If you are aware of some HTML tags, you can do it. It's up to you, right? Even you can upload images and you can work on this. You can explore this. Once you explore, you'll be playing with this. So just make sure once you start working on it, you'll understand. When you click on edit, you can select cells. You can next, replace, clear all outputs. When you go for view, whatever you want to see. In insert, you can insert a code cell and code snippets and you can work on help where if you work on tools, it will tell you what are the shortcuts. Control plus CM. You have all these shortcuts. You need not remember any shortcuts. Just make sure if you are aware of some shift enter and if you want to exit particular cells, control plus alt plus M, that's what it will tell you. See, control plus alt plus M, add a comment and control plus alt plus and new cell. These are some kind of advantages. If you click on help, what are the frequently asked questions? See, so you'll go to the new environment, whether it is free to use or let me just maximize this size. Right? He'll just guide you whether we can mainly suited for machine learning analysis and education point of view. Because Google thinks in every one point of view, right? Your data is safe. It is automatically backed up to your drive, right? Even when you go to your left side, you have this table of contents. That means the section. You need not worry. You can add a new section over here, right? You can just name it. If you want to just name it, you can just uh, click on this and you can just go for editing over here. What you want to see, if I write my name over there, you can see your name over here and you can see this magnify whatever you want to replace and you have, you can have these adding fields. And when you see the file symbol over there, that means you have these three options. You can upload a file. When you click on this, however you upload the files to your notebook, you will do the same thing. I mean to your drive. When you click on this, you click on refresh. How do you just refresh the content? And when you see, see sample data, the default files, it is present with the Google Colab. And the last thing is, how do you mount your drive? When you click on this, it will ask you connecting to Google Drive. That means your drive will be backed up here automatically. See, connect to Google Drive. It will ask me to just log in first. I'll just log in over there. Automatically, my drive will be mounted over there. So that is where you could see some difference. So mounting Google Drive, it may take some time depending on my storage. See, this may take a long time if you have large number of files. See, these are the number of files I have. Automatically, I could see whatever the files available in my drive. It could be dumped over here. Depending on my storage and depending on my data, it will provide you each and everything. See, you can just upload a new file. When you click on this, you can upload. You can just make sure it, as it told you, if it is having huge amount of data, it is telling that it will take some time. That is where you have all these options when you go for uploading files. And I said you can just download this as ipynb file or .py file. That's what you have all of this, right? So let me make it very simple. When you start working on it, it will be very much easier when you just work on this, right? So you can see when it is drive backed up, you can see all the files over there. And let me show you a very simple, if you open your Google Drive like, see, it has taken so much of time for me to upload each and everything. That's where you can see how your drive is being backed up. If you want to unmount, just click on this. You can just revoke access. That's it. You can again, runtime is reconnected. If you want to directly back up your drive, you can do it automatically. This file will be saved to your Google Drive. You need not download it automatically. When you open a new file, it will suggest you. So this is how we'll start working on our Google Colab environment. And when you just go for using all of this, it will be very much easier when you start working on it. So that's how we'll understand how do we make it very simple. And in the next series of videos, we'll be start working on how do we install the packages in Google Colab and how do we start working on this environment because it is free to use and at present if you just come down the command palette and what are the if you want to add a comment you can just see it how do you add a comment that means when you share it to your friend you have all these resources you start exploring them and when you see this terminal like functionality if you click on this see sign up for Google Colab Pro 
that means it is a paid version which is not needed right now you can just use it he'll ask for the billing that means he'll take only credit card so this is not needed as of now we'll start working on this google collab environment where we first install the packages we'll be working on numpy pandas matplotlib and seaborn just explore it it is very much easier and the good thing is you can open your in your mobile phone also you can run your python script one by one just see code and text cell you can just make it explode very wide it is allowing you so much amount of storage and ram you can just change the runtime by selecting it to gpu or tpu tensor processing unit graphic processing unit it's all dependent on the programs you are working as of now for the analysis point of view we can just make sure the default runtime is available i hope you understood how do we have how are we using google collab environment just make it simple start exploring on it in the next videos we'll be working on python packages for data analysis so in this video we have understood the importance and usage of google collaboratory in the following videos we will learn about python packages that we can use for data analysis thank you i hope you have enjoyed watching it if you have liked our content please do hit like button and do subscribe to our youtube channel for more useful content and exciting updates if you want to learn such practical content at an affordable cost with microsoft certification and instructor support please register at academy.codenan.com you can also download app from play store as codenan never hesitate to raise queries in the comment section and please do reply with your suggestions for more practical videos we'll be happy to come up with it thank you